Hi all, uh, so in this video I am going to talk about all the different engine options that are provided or offered by Hyundai in their different cars either you take a Hyundai Creta, either you take a Hyundai Venue so they offer you different engine variants in their car based on the variant uh, models so um, in petrol, talking, starting with the petrol uh, they offer two engine options in petrol engine and uh, one engine option in uh, one that is default engine option in uh, diesel engines and there are multiple gearbox choices available so in this video I am only going to talk about the engines so starting with the petrol engines so there are two uh, engines that are offered by Hyundai and uh, the most advanced uh, engine that is offered by Hyundai is TGDI and TGDI stands for Turbo Gasoline Direct Injection Right. So, what is this gasoline? So, gasoline is nothing but your petrol. Direct injection. Direct injection is the technology in which the petrol or the fuel is injected directly into the cylinder. So, I am not going into detail right now, but for the basic explanation, I am explaining you with this image. So, if you see this image, so you have a cylinder. So, this is my cylinder, this is my piston and this is my spark plug, this is my exhaust port, this is the intake port right so for the beginners I would say uh, intake port is the port from where your engine is breathing right engine takes the air and fuel inside the cylinder and then the combustion happens right and this exhaust is the port or exhaust is the channel from where the burnt gases are released into the atmosphere right or burn, uh, released out of the engine so how this GDI works is so in gasoline direct injection if you see this image you have two injectors two injectors one is this port injector port injector means this is located in out of the cylinder not inside the cylinder but out of the cylinder out of the cylinder means in the intake port so this is my intake channel so this is my intake for, for a layman angle, I will say a pipe, consider a pipe which is going into the engine and which feeds the engine with the air. So in that um, pipe only or you say uh, hose only, you have this port injector, right? So injector number one is port injector and second one is this injector number two and this is why this is called gasoline direct injection. So this is the high pressure fuel injector. So most, so what, what happens is, so in, 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 uh, search, in search of more efficiency and power, engineers try to explore different technologies and, and what they, they have tried here to mimic the working of a diesel engine. So you very well know that a diesel engine is very much powerful, it generates a lot of torque, a lot of power, than a petrol engine, but so engineers wanted to use that technology in a petrol engine but petrol is a volatile uh, thing and so it has some limitations so you cannot use the same amount of um, fuel pressure with a petrol engine like in a diesel engine because of the knocking problems and all okay so but as the technology uh, goes up and rises and rises and also the sensors are uh, and, and you see a lot of sensors on your vehicle so based on all those things engineers are now able to achieve a lot more pressure than they used to achieve earlier like a lot means just for example I am saying more than 100 times uh, not 100 times but more than 50 times the older pressure that was used in the fuel injection systems in a petrol vehicle now in GDI is the pressure is almost 50 times greater than the older pressures so you have a injector that is directly that directly injects the fuel inside the cylinder like a diesel engine so in diesel engine the, uh, the diesel is injected directly into the combustion chamber not in the port like a MPI engine that I will go on further so in this engine what happens this G main, main injector injects the fuel into the combustion chamber and this secondary fuel injector works partially or depending on the engine loads 
when there is a low RPM or when there is a need of less power in the engine, then this injector works. So there are two injectors working in a GTI engine, and and to assist this whole technology, this turbo is added. So uh, a turbo is nothing but an impeller or say a compressor, right? A compressor which forcefully pushes the air into the combustion chamber. So what happens in a naturally aspirated engine is your engine is manually sucking the air inside the cylinder and then it is doing the combustion and all. So what happens there is some frictional losses and because of that there is a efficiency drop in the engine. But in this engine what happens is you have a turbo which pulls which which takes the energy from this exhaust and then spools up a turbine and then that turbine runs a compressor which in turn compresses the intake air into the cylinder so that is how you get a lot more power than a conventional engine so this is all about GDI engine, turbo GDI engine right? second is common rail direct injection which is the diesel engine technology so in this what happens so you have so this consider this is a top view you are seeing from top, an uh, engine you are seeing from top. So this is my cylinder. So you you you, have, you must have heard three cylinder engine. So C1, C2, C3, cylinder 1, cylinder 2, cylinder 3, right? So what happens? There is a common rail. Right? Common rail means a common connection and through which your three different injectors are connected. Three different injectors means so in diesel engine there is a there is fuel injector in petrol engine also and in diesel engine also you have fuel injectors so what happens this is connected by a common rail or a common storage tank right and in this tank you have very high pressure fuel so what happens because of this you get even pressure right? in all these three um, fuel injectors you get the same amount of pressure in the fuel that so that is the technology used in the diesel engines and Hyundai themselves uh, have branded this technology as CRDI. It's, it's like it's very common. It's used in all the diesel engines. It, uh, the technology is almost same. There is a minor difference, but this is same. So the third one is MPA VTVT or uh, this is a low cost option. It's not a very advanced engine. It's the very basic engine, basic variant of engine in which you have um, in, in this also you have a fuel injector but the technology behind that is not that advanced. By saying this I mean to say that you do not have two injectors like this. You have only one injector and that injector is located here, port injector. So in this what happens? You have a cheap engine that is not very efficient, not very powerful, but okay. Like for a normal customer, if you do not want a very high, uh, high, uh, um, highly powerful vehicle or highly torquey vehicle, then you can, um, then you do not want to invest much into the vehicle. So for them, this is the low cost engine. So what happens is, you do not have two injectors, and here a low pressure fuel system is used. So in this. Efficiency is not that great as compared to GTA, but the engine is cheap to manufacture and it is easy to maintain. Second is VTVT. So in uh, sorry, I forgot to mention MPA. MPA means multi point injection. So what happens if you see this injector? If I see this injector in real, so when this injector injects fuel, it doesn't inject the fuel in one direction. Why it is called MPI? MPI because multi point. So it has fuel injection coming out from multiple directions. So this is the injector, right? And this is the fuel. And fuel comes out in the form of very fine particles called droplets. Very fine droplets. And that is called atomized fuel, right? So from the injector, you get fuel in multiple directions. So that's why it is called multi point injection. And this fuel is injected here and along with the air, this small droplet of fuel is mixed and then it goes inside the combustion chamber and, and that whole stroke uh, process begins that is intake, compression and uh, 
exhaust and suction right all four strokes so in, along with that it has vtvt vtvt is a trademark of hyundai which basically is variable work timing so what happens so variable work timing is um, individually a very big topic but in short this is a technology in which what happens at higher rpms the walls which are opening the cam the cams which are opening are intake and exhaust walls so there is a valve right so there is a valve which opens and closes because to take the air in you need the valve to be closed uh, sorry open and when the air is already inside the engine then to avoid that air, uh, air uh, going out of the engine you need to shut the valve down so for that there is a cam so what happens at higher rpms there is very less time for the engine to breathe in right so to get in sufficient amount of air what is done by this technology is the cam is hydraulically operated and at higher rpms the valves are lifted for a little longer time so that air breathes in proper air like air uh, engine breathes in properly so that it can generate sufficient amount of power that is demanded by the user without going for a bigger engine size right so in short this is the this is this technology and the name is variable wall timing so you will see this vtvt and variable wall timing in mostly petrol engines because there is a need of variable wall timing when the engine rpm exceeds so diesel engines are basically uh, not uh, not operated in very high rpms because of their constraints but petrol engines are generally operated uh, between say 3 to 6000 and 1000 in cars generally we will see 5000 to 5000 rpms only so this is the thing right so in petrol engines mainly you will see this in diesel engines also uh, this technology is there but only those engines which has a capability to achieve higher rpms so that was it so that was a brief description of all the engine variants what is it what's the technology hope you like it thank you